Hi, welcome to your video on page 225, quadratic word problems, number 25. The problem says, a circular magnet has an inner radius of x centimeters. You can see that on the diagram here. So the purple is the magnet. This is the radius of that circle, the inner circle, so just the empty part. Um, an outer radius, two centimeters larger. So outer radius, it means when you go from the center all the way to the outside. Okay, so inner was center to here. Outer is center all the way to the outer edge. So that one is ten, two centimeters more. And it shows you here with the arrows pointing there, two centimeters. That means this part here is two centimeters. So from the center all the way to there would be x plus two. x plus two would be the radius. And it says its depth is the same as the inner radius. This is x. The depth, or in this case, when you look at the magnet, how deep it goes back there, it has that. It's also known as the height of x. So x and x. If the total volume of the magnet is 120 pi centimeters cubed, find x. So it gives you the total volume of the magnet, which is just the purple. All right. So let's recap a couple things you should know. Number one. The volume of a cylinder is found with this formula here, pi r squared h. All right. Basically, the way to look at that is that this part is a circle, and you imagine how many of those circles do you have stacked. If you had just one circle, and then you stack them up, so many circles, one on top of another, many, many, many stacked, the stack is h high. So you find the area of what's called the base, which is the circle, area of the circle, pi r squared, and then you stack all those circles up to a height of h. So here's one circle times the height. So it's representing all the circles stacked up here. That's the volume or the space inside a cylinder. We're going to use that formula. All right, so back to the problem. Uh, first of all, to find the volume uh, of the magnet, the volume of the magnet is the entire thing minus the whole. So the volume of the magnet, the purple, is the volume of the entire cylinder minus this hole that's cut in the middle of it. So if you do the whole thing minus this hole, you'll be left with the purple bit. All right, the entire thing minus the hole. So again, the volume of a cylinder is that formula. We're going to use that volume formula twice because we're going to find the volume of the entire shape and we're going to subtract the volume of the hole which is also a cylinder. So here's the form that we get from there. The volume of the entire thing. So the entire thing, uh, if you imagine this is like the cylinder we had in the last uh, diagram, except it has been tilted to its side. So what we see is the base, it's that circle. And over there, the x is our h, the height. So if you look back on this diagram, this one is like this one tipped over. So this pi r squared is this circle here. And this h is that x there going that way, the height is that way. Okay, back to here. So we have this equation here. So pi r squared h, pi r squared h, r squared. So for the entire shape, the radius, like I said, for the entire shape, the radius is x plus this little bit. x plus 2 is our radius. So pi times the radius squared times h which is going to be that value there in a moment. And then we subtract away this hole, all right, because we're getting the volume just of the magnet. So the hole is pi r squared. Pi r squared is just this, and then times h because it's the same height. So I'm going to simplify that some more. First of all, the h's I've replaced with x because the height of the cylinder is x right there. It shows us there. So now we have this. All right, now I'm going to replace the volume with 120 pi because it tells us the volume of the magnet, just the purple part, is 120 pi. So that's what I'm going to put in here. 120 pi is this whole thing minus, sorry, the entire thing minus the hole in it, right? So 120 pi equals this, this. Now this can be simplified more. Uh, next, we can cancel away the pi because there's a pi here, pi here, pi here. So we can divide everything by pi. So now we have this, all right? And this also has been expanded into this, x squared plus 4x plus 4. Now I'm going to multiply this, and I get x cubed plus 4x squared plus 4x. And this is over here. That's the uh, x squared times x is x cubed. Now we have an x cubed here, x cubed here, negative. We're going to 
cancel those out and I move the 120 over as well so I end up with this easy to solve quadratic equation everything can be divided by 4 so that's the next step here reduce it by dividing by 4 this can be easily factored into x minus 5 x plus 6 this will give an answer of x plus plus 5 this will give us an answer of x equals negative 6 we cannot have a negative radius so we ignore the negative 6 and our only possible answer is x equals 5 so that must be the radius of the inner circle and also the height of the cylinder.